Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Let's Play of E4 with Red Bastard. We are playing as Brittany, and our fleet was just attacked by the Danish Navy. Which is pretty impressive. A lot of big ships. See what's going on in Mexico. Yeah, we're gradually taking more territory than them. But these guys are just passing through. But they may occupy some of this stuff. And let's see if there's any provinces where it's just too good of a deal. No, we can wait on the rest of those for now. See if we can get some more manufacturing buildings. We probably need to get out of Luxembourg. Wabash. Okay, 86 war score. Let's see what we could take from them. We also want all their cash. Yeah, we could completely eliminate them. Now our subjects just have to kill the rebels. Now one thing we could do for more manpower is we could get rid of this individual creeds because we're not working on any ideas right now. Let's get rid of that. And then we can instantly spend our points on manpower recovery speed, plus 10%. Since we have maxed out church power, it's not really going to be a problem for us. And let's see what kind of havoc these rebels can wreck up here. I'm not going to rush in to try to take over these two provinces. Because of all the rebels around. We'll just let them do their thing. Okay, we have a bunch of points here we could be using. I have some lazy diplomats. Let's just start at the top. I'm clicking on you. And for relations. Second one is Sedgwick, that's our Mexican. Alienation. So we'll improve relations there. And we need 35 to get another claim on England. They can just gain some influence. They have troops right there to put that rebellion down, so we don't need to worry about it. We've got Imithir is done. So that's build another one here. These are all really low aggressiveness, so we're not even stationing troops on top of them. We restored order here. We're not going to conquer any more up here at the moment, just to give them a chance to core and convert some things. But what we should do is see if any of our subjects have debt. They do. They're fine. They're fine. They have 135. So we'll pay off their debt. Okay. 
Okay, Brunswick kind of likes us. And they're the war leader. So let's set them as friendly and improve relations with them. And you know what? They're going to be our replacement. Uh, they're a rival of Saxony, but Saxony hasn't really done anything for us. They're going to be our replacement for Burgundy. Assuming we get some of Burgundy's land, but I think they're going to be hostile towards us after this anyway. Did you guys just break free? You did. And become our vassal. But we did our part. We gave them their freedom again. It's up to them to protect it. Well, let's not give a royal marriage. Let's see if they stiff us on the peace deal. If they stiff us on the peace deal, then we'll just break that alliance. We can afford to go three over there. Yeah, Saxon is not going to be the most useful ally, particularly if they get wrecked here and they might have to null treaties. I don't think it's worth our effort to restore it, despite the high trust. Sorry, Netherlands. We just don't care that we gave you, that you gave us money. We're not going to repay you. And Netherlands likes us. Let's improve relations with them as well. Chances are... Dude, don't do that. Okay, we'll, we'll just back up a little bit. Let them move freely through here. <laughs> Look at all of them. Let's revise what we said that we want. We don't want that. That's in a different state anyway. These Dutch separatists, feel free to hand that over. are really high on manpower at the moment. Or sorry, um, military points. So let's use it to get some manpower, but we can get tech in a few years, so. I don't know, I guess we'll hold on to it for the moment. Let's do a little bit of development, just that one. Uh, we'll lose some prestige. Okay, they seem to be doing okay, all our subjects here. The ones in this one down here seems to be fine, no rebellions, we haven't been feeding them. We could feed them some stuff over here. We could create a Peruvian subject. Somebody else is going to do it if we don't. So why don't we pull this guy back and this guy. They've done their job. And let's start plotting out a war in Peru. A 
also plot out a war over here. And wait till the end of the year and we'll get that. Okay, you can end this war now. Oh, Denmark is getting wrecked too. I kind of suspected that their fleet would protect them pretty effectively. And I saw how strong it was. That appears not to be the case. Okay, so we finished that off. Uh, we'll move these guys up with the other army for the moment and try to start expanding here. Try to close off some of this stuff to other Europeans. And we should wake, make our way up north and try to conquer those as well. Go ahead and take that. So we could upgrade our fleet. Leave them with these rebels. Stop off relations with the Emperor since he's our ally. First moment we say that they're stable, they have a rebellion. It's a little rude if you ask me. That was your peace deal. We're done with you. Hmm. Back them up, Denmark, Cologne, the Papacy, Muscovy. We haven't improved relations with the papacy in a while. Let's do that. And they completely betrayed us. We had all that stuff occupied. And they didn't care. I think we might just try to conquer them now. Particularly once we see what happens with rebels. Hey, January came around, so let's get this tech. Swivel cannons, sounds good. issue is going to be that England is allied to Netherlands. Burgundy, really? Get another general. Get some of the spare guys that aren't great. And who's our third rival? Oh, Denmark. 
right? Except English. Yeah, we definitely should have embargoed them during that war. Yeah, let's get these fleets working together. We're going to be starting this war up really soon. Got some admin points. Does anyone need development? Nope, they're all loyal. Okay, so let's develop this up to 20 if we can. We're going to have a lot of high development places. And we're going to move down here. It'll be a long path to get down there. So we'll probably take out Scotland soon. Unless they're really well allied. But no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we have our spy power for a claim here. Let's take it. Oh, hungry. Okay, so all these guys are creating a Brabant. Yeah, let's... Let's do that. And Brabant just sallied Austria. It only costs us six, and they have a cool flag. Wow, that was a f that was greater than two provinces. So clearly, the rules have changed on that system. Okay, Hungary, Savoy, Netherlands. But sadly, Netherlands are going to be at war with us. Savoy wouldn't. Okay, let's go for the conquest of Hampshire. We're going to call them Spain and Saxony. And we're going to start improving relations with Burgundy. You can call him the Papacy, sure. So who didn't join? Bohemia didn't join. Why won't you join? On the favors. And they don't want any land. Fix that. I'm wondering how much it would cost to influence them. 268. We might save us that much money. We should get some war taxes. So we're going to spare the faithful. There's no fort here, so if they get a bonus, that's fine. English do have a lot of troops down here that's going to hurt our subject. Except for those troops are garbage. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, England. Wow. Wow, guys. Those are big ships, so 
Let's eject these trade ships out into the sea. And the great power of Hobbins. Yeah, so somebody, there's like an argument to the boards whether a uh, great power could join a war against a player. And clearly they just did through um, great power intervention. So Tunis decided to give us money once the Ottomans joined. Do you guys not like? I guess it's just because of the other war fighting Austria. Wow, Hungary's getting wrecking Bohemia. And the Dutch are going to overrun our land pretty effectively. But we can't put them down. Our army's down here. Those are highlands, so let's liberate this province first, see if they'll go somewhere a little more convenient for us. And the Moors went to fall. We're going to have to deal with the English. And then get back on the continent to deal with the Dutch. So which great powers are on our side? I guess us and Spain against England and no one else is a great power. Persia is a great power. Looks like the damage that's being done over here is dragging down our war score. And of course I'm capturing this fort. Let's liberate a little bit of this territory. Okay, let's get a claim there. And let's get some spy power building up against England. Thank you, Muscovy. Okay, so we're fighting Kalima. They moved in to attack us. And here, the hills are working in our favor. capture this and then go on to the fort. Actually, we could do both at the same time, I'm sure. That prevents the garrison from growing. Now let's check to see if our subjects are doing all right financially. Okay, how do they feel? They're still hostile. I'll probably kill these mercs, but it's just one unit of mercs, so I don't care. Okay, we lost a general. But he's not one of these two generals, so that's okay. Okay, keep. Uh, we can just let that move downward. Actually, it's gold mine. Let's do this. I don't see those Ottoman troops. I'm not sure where they're involved.
Yeah, we'll have to send these guys north, kill those rebels, and then help with these. Okay, Saxony was kicked out. They have to null treaties with us? I think they did. They did. So we'll keep them as friendly. Okay, we captured London. We'll get these guys up into the sea, right by Lothian. Hey, England isn't excited about this. Uh, Bohemia is going to peace out next. And we're going to have to bring over some forces to deal with the Netherlands. Oh, there's some Ottoman troops. A lot of them. So this is the kind of war that it's completely reasonable for the Ottomans to be joining into when we're actually the aggressor with more great powers going on the offensive. The other one, where England joined in against us defending Poland, that was pretty unreasonable. Okay, let's send these ships down here. They might run away before we can get there. Yeah, looks like we got them. Get repairing. Okay, this fort is holding up for now. It won't forever, though. Let's cross here. Brought that port under control. Let's get up here and then march on over here. Really good at surviving these attacks with all their ships and act. I guess part of it's because we don't have an admiral. We really should. Let's get an admiral. Okay, who's our best seizure? This guy's our best seizure. This guy will just run around snatching up the rest of the territory. And then we'll land on the continent. I'm just reluctant to do it while I see all of these troops would still be outnumbered massively. Okay. Is Burgundy helping us in some sort of war? Not that I can see, so I'm not sure why they're laid up. I think it's because Spain is involved in that battle as well. Yeah, just a visual bug. It looks like a trip's arrived. No, not quite. Oh, uh, let's not do that.
That was damaged, but that's okay. Papacy's got low enthusiasm. That's not good for us. And we haven't really been able to inflict any damage on any of them. There's some troops over here, but they should really get into Hungary. They should go through here and then over. Said, I'm not sure. Okay, 1650s, so that religious center disappeared. Not sure how long we're going to let this war go on. No, we're not going to roll Mario. Okay, we could get some more allies after this. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Yeah, Bohemia is going to get knocked out. very soon. Okay, I think we have all the wars, well, their enthusiasm went up because of an ongoing battle. Okay, I think we have the war score we want. See if we can knock them out now. Now I can only take one province from them. Why is that? Well, let's take it. We've got other people that we need to be fighting. And let's go ahead and ally Netherlands. They've proven themselves to be capable. And Burgundy has proven themselves to be hostile. We need another ally to replace um, Saxony. We could just wait on Saxony, but I don't think we're going to. Can I <laughs> want to ally them? But we need to beat up on them. We have Portugal. Like, how much of your friends, Portugal? Okay, we need to deal with these guys, though. War Siege, I like that. Let's use this guy with a bunch of maneuver, because he's fast, he'll get over there to deal with them. Yeah, we'll get that Royal Marriage. Give this guy the poor siege general. Let's liberate this stuff. 
quickly as possible. Probably another three troops. So let's get one merc up here for the moment to liberate that province. Actually, it might not be able to go up there. Let's see what our military access is like. Hit the cap again with military points, so let's develop until those provinces have 20 development each. And we really should be getting some more cannons. Let's get another couple cannons. We need some morale, and now let's give us morale boost. Okay, any factories, and it happened in our country. Seems reasonable because. Okay. <laughs> we stack wiped him with those troops before our reinforcements even got around. That makes it all worth it. Let's get rid of this guy. And send these guys back out to protect trade. Okay, do want to upgrade this fort quite a bit. Okay, let's get up here, kill these rebels. And now we've got 45,000 manpower, so we're doing all right. If we would have fought out that war against the Netherlands, the Ottomans, the English, and so on, we would have just depleted our manpower pool. But we got our province. Let's head over here. What's the war goal? It's battles one. Bring this fleet around. And we want some siege abilities. We'll send spies here and spies there. This video has been going on for 38 minutes. I'm going to stop here.